Oh, what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the main channel inside of today's video we literally have some gameplay of foot esports versus sk gaming it's going on right now in gamescom live with lots of people watching in the audience in germany and this match literally is the most important match of the entire year in emea basically whoever wins this near enough secures himself world spot if foot wins they get world spot no matter what sk this is a loser bracket so uh, sk have to win this one and then beat zeta in a winner's final but it is literally the biggest one. This could literally determine who gets worlds or not. So you can see by the draft here, we have Bonnie, Ems, and Shelly band B, Squeak, and Poco band out. It was a bit of a weird one. So at foot, they first picked Crow, and then SK actually returned with a Rose on. That's typically someone you don't want to go into Crow. So a little bit of a weird one. Tara is pretty good. Sandy is a good answer to the Tara. But the only thing is with Sandy, literally Rosa runs all over Sandy. So a bit unsure about that one. Ash as well does get counted out by Rose rosa so for me i actually definitely favor the sk composition but at the same time sandy's going to get a lot of supers so it's kind of down to the ash in my opinion to try and pop off you can definitely be a uh, carl and a tara if you're a good ash but we'll have to wait and see so i'm gonna move my webcam back down there because it, it blocked the band so i didn't want to put it down there at the start so if you missed it basically zeta free owed sk in the winners final i'm pretty sure uh, so we see here Drake straight away getting a good play. You know, what? I'm going to make my webcam. What? Drake actually got the goal there. I'm going to make my webcam a little bit smaller just so you can see a bit more of the gameplay. That was an absolutely insane goal from Drake already picking up a really important kill. You can see here, um, Yoshi going for the kill. You do see sometimes that players stand still out of nowhere. I think the devices are a little bit bugged. I'm not too sure, but see Samantha with a really good pickup right here. I mean, they're literally, they're eating my words right here. Drake might be able to literally walk this one in. And wow, okay, I did not expect that from the draft. As I said, it just seemed on paper when you literally looked at those two compositions. You know, I really like the Rose and whatever else. But then again, like I mentioned, picking Rosa into a Crow is pretty wild. So this is actually a best of five within each set. So this could be very long. I might just cut out really boring games, for example. Uh, I don't want to literally make like an hour and 30 minute video, right? So it depends what you guys might see on this one so crow in the middle the other thing is with sk's comp they don't really have a mid and especially with the crow slows at the beginning it can be really painful drage pushing in really aggressive here against yoshi yoshi manages to get the ball out but chaos is pretty weak right here all members from foot are alive i think they're just gonna hold on here might actually push forward with drage just get a couple of healing ticks but just decide to opt to not really go for that one again if they get another team wipe right here in this position they, they can definitely score so i feel like the pressure I, would, I don't know. I don't know if the pressure is on more here because, of course, for if they lose, they, they're leaving it out of their hands. But at the same, same time, SK literally cannot lose this. So it's literally do or die for SK, more so than for right now. So Adrage going to get that pet down. And Lenart goes for an insane gadget Sandy play. That's what I love to see. He was able to keep composed and pull that one off so really good sandstorm right here so this well mentioned like sandy can get a lot of supers for free against this composition normally sandy actually struggles more so against more ranged comps because he can never get super but now it's going to push here on ope is it going to be able to get a kill semantic jumps in a little bit mistimed but again leonard does have his supers at hand unfortunately has no gadgets so can't really do anything with that one but yeah i kind of like the sandy pick i don't really see sandy too much in the meta it's really working it out so far Typically, I would say in a 1v1, you know, like a lot of really tanky brawlers can counter Sandy pretty easily, but it's not really doing a job right now. Rosa is just getting slowed left, right, and center. Again, I just don't understand. Rosa is a very strong brawler, and I think, oh, that's a really good double pull from Ope. But yeah, Rosa is a really strong brawler. I've seen it a lot in scrims when I've been watching it, and SK haven't really dealt with Rosa too well when Foot have actually drafted it against them. So that's probably why they went it to try and take it out of the hands of uh foot so now for i have complete control very goal up at the moment to me it seems like foot got the draft they wanted right because you know typically it can go one of two ways when you draft a bit weird like sometimes you just kind of want to bait the opposition into going certain things that's why again why they went like a sandy and even like an ash like on paper you know it may not be the best but they've clearly got a game plan and it's definitely working out so far so the ball is directly in the sk corner there's surely no way that they have enough time to get it up and score a goal here yeah yoshi missed that unfortunately if they got the ball up a bit sooner i think they could have scored that with the rosa so it's 2-0 for foot right now this is one of the fastest games of brawl balls i've seen 
all weekend. If you guys been watching the games, I wouldn't recommend watching some of these games back. Like, normally EMEA is very good to watch, but I've been watching a few people like, um, I don't know what you call it, like watch party and the event. And they've been literally falling asleep because there's been so many overtimes. There's just been so many missed goals and whatever else. A great takedown onto Chaos right there again. And Lanash should be able to just walk this one in. And wow, for literally one goal away from securing this. Again, I don't know what I'm... I'm obviously don't know what I'm talking about right now. Because it is quite clear to me that this must be a, a, a complete mismatch in terms of the draft. So again, Chaos going to get no value out of his super because it's just a crow crow is by far the biggest counter to a rosie he's been able to keep him back a great time super from semantic Ope missing the super really bad right there yoshi goes for the play but of course he can't really do that when lana has a stun gadget in hand and that's going to go for the stun again and he's going to be able to get the goal and wow that is the foot esports that i want to see they managed just to sweep that within six minutes that brutal ball that is the confidence they need they're a big momentum team hopefully they can bring that into the next set okay so jumping into the second set here straight away the drafts just unfolded so quickly we have pit stop heist you can see on sk barley bonnie and rico band so those are quite clearly some of the best brawlers on pit stop and then dynamite edgar and spike so dynamite and edgar are good late picks and then spike is just a good i would say just pick all around so that's why they banned it they see the need to first pick pretty good against everything daryl and cordelius cordelius is such a menace on this map uh they actually went crow which hmm crow is pretty good against cordelius i guess i don't know maybe they're scared of a willow or something so at least crow can counter out uh any throwers but a little bit unsure on that one they go with a bull as well which i'm happy to see bullet is a brawler which hasn't really been seen too much at all and there's been no real uh, competitive data to really look at until this weekend so it's nice to see that ball at least is usable in pit stop which i think this is the really one map which you should be able to use ball on we've still go with the willows so again that's probably why they went for crow because at least he can jump onto a willow uh with a lot of walls but we still gonna have a good matchup against nita it's gonna be okay against bull on defense to be fair, again, I have to side with SK's composition here. I think I, I was very wrong in the first game, but in my opinion, I'd have to side with it. Mainly because I've seen this composition, especially with Cordelius and Willow, come into play on pit stop a few times before. Navi did it a, a couple of months ago, I believe, or like a month ago when I was actually casting in person. And it was insane in terms of defense. You got Willow, who safe if a ball charges in on the safe. Uh, you can obviously mind control him and take him away from the safe. You've got Cordelius who can just remove the ball from the objective all of the time. It's going to be a very painful ball game. Let's just say that. So Cordelius, again, just removing the crow from the equation, trying to allow uh, Yoshi to get even more value onto the safe there. But here comes the crow slow. So Chaos going to use a dive gadget. I, I sometimes like the dive gadget, but the only thing is you end up just dying anyway. A lot of the times, I guess he's using dive mainly for to counter the crow jump right. At least it gives you a little bit more survivability in that sense. Like a crow can't just jump on you straight away. He's not going to get the most value. He's going to jump on the safe here, Drage. which is going to get some damage, but then go down in the meanwhile. Maybe not best lit, uh, in the late game, but has got some damage right here. So Lenar... I kind of feel bad for him here. He's just going to get tormented the whole game by Cordelius. And actually gets the kill against Cordelius. That is very clutch, but again, gets taken down. I do like Berserk sometimes, but the thing is with Ball that I mentioned a few times is that he still feels squishy as a tank, which is really weird. So that's why I like Tough Guard to try and keep yourself alive. But I guess the game plan here is just to try and base race and try and get on that safe. And that's a really, really good super from Lanar here. He's going to be able to respawn in a... Well, not respawn. Get out of the mind control in a second. Looks like Samantha's getting some good defense against Yoshi there. But again, Ope is going to be able to just run all over the ball. It's going to be pretty painful for him. Drage can just get some chip damage. Ope lands another super right here. He's able to heal up with the thanks of his gadget. But now Semantic is in a dangerous position. Ope does get a kill in time though. Yoshi is still caught on defense. Drage with some good chip damage overall. He's actually going to get a super onto the safe. I think he actually missed the jump a little bit because he could have got a bit more damage but still like 50 percent uh on the high safe that is insane so now the thing about foot the lana can just keep going in on the safe over and over again they've got such a big lead and now he's gonna be able to finish it with berserk and the damage gear active that he must be doing so much damage to that safe right now right now so foot that they're, they're starting where they left off that is absolutely insane 
I think in the grudge match yesterday as well, I think SK won 3-1, free, free I believe. I think it was 3-1 or 3-2. I can't remember the top of my head, but SK did beat Foot yesterday. So, you know that SK are definitely capable of it. Uh, but I predicted Foot to win this one. So, hopefully, they can win it. Because, of course, i got to support literally... I'm, I'm good friends with uh, Chaos, for sure, and Ope, but, you know, Drage, of course. He literally is like a little brother to me, so, of course, I've got to support him no matter what he does. So, Yoshi gets some good chip damage onto the save, but then on the other side of things, Lanai is going to be able to activate his Berserk right here. So, I guess that's why you're using Berserk, because literally, if you slip through one time, you can get a lot of damage. Again, it's, you're kind of uh, waiting for the enemies to make a mistake. So, these book skins are so annoying, by the way. It just feels like I'm not playing Brawl Stars, but Lana with another good super. Uh, Ope does have to use the super to get away. He's trying to waste all the ammo, but still a ball on top of a Cordelius. Isn't going to be the best for Cordelius. Just trap him in the realm. Tries to jump over. Just get a kill onto Lana right there. It must be so, so painful. I'll be raging right now. Having to constantly deal with a Cordelius taking you to the Shadow Realm. And now SK can start to get a little bit of damage going their way. So, Lana again, trying to get his super built up. It's going to be pretty painful against Cordelius. Drage actually jumping in, trying to get uh, Ope down. It does actually tank the Shadow Realm there. So, now Lana can get a lot of damage onto the save with the damage gear and Berserker active. That was an insane crow jump by Drage, by the way. That was such high IQ. I love it. Being able, uh, being able to allow his teammate to get onto the safe, who deals a lot more damage, and now Semantic nearly managing to get the safe down as well. So only 6% left. Now Yoshi gets a kill onto Drage, though. Narrows it down, and only a 30%. Uh, Chaos can get a lot of damage here. Thankfully, Drage does have his super to hand, so he's able to get that one. So now 20% in it. Both teams have to defend for the live stretch. Going to get a couple of chip shots, but Semantic's able to finish that one anyway. And now, for a literally on match point, this is absolutely insane. Okay, so hopping into the next one. So I didn't mean to say match point, I meant to say set point. But already, foot starting off, starting again, really strong. Ope manages to get the kill in time. And Yoshi manages to uh, miss a little bit of damage with the recalling rotator, but still getting a lot of damage onto the safe. A 30% lead. Chaos can get a couple more chip shots. Does actually use Semantic to damage the own safe himself, which I kind of like. Again, you don't always get the most value out of Willow Supers, but that is a lot of damage. Damage again was active on Chaos as well. Able to get basically 60% lead here. Ope is able to get some good damage in here. I guess his teammates must have called that Lanar was close to him, but now Lanar with hopefully the damage gear active unfortunately goes down. That's going to be disastrous. And also the Shadow Realm. Yoshi's going to be able to finish this one, I think. 1,800 damage. Lanar with a really good stomper. And, I mean, uh, the safe's going down, especially with his Nita Bear on the safe. What are, they, what are they doing? Why did they just leave that right there? That was really weird in the end but now sk should be able to finish this off with some mantic and wow they're able to take back a game okay so jumping into the next game right here so we missed a little bit of the first interaction again but lana is able to get onto the safe pretty nicely uh again it gets his berserk popped but it's just hard as a ball in comparison to a daryl i think to really stay alive we see drage with a super here bit of a weird jump i don't think that was really to plan Lanar's able to get some uh, damage onto Chaos. Yoshi's going to roll in and get some more damage of himself. And again, uh, they're probably going to leave this star actually. No, they're going to chase him around. Yoshi's doing a really good job of just distracting and buying time. I know he doesn't get damage himself, but at least he buys his teammates a little bit of time to help push up the map a little bit. Ope's going to finally get the kill onto Lana here. I mean, well, that's just surprising the amount of damage now at max range. Like, he's getting some good chip shots onto Ope, especially once the damage gear pops. You know, he can actually peak shot him pretty much a lot of times. Like, it's not just a straight kill uh, for Cordelius every single time. So, Lanar's going to be able to get a super of his own right here. But he does have Ope. Oh, does miss the Shadow Realm. And now, Lanar can get onto the safe a little bit here. Good jump from Ope to take him down a little bit. I do like the gadget change, by the way, for, especially for situations like that. Uh, Yoshi realizes that there's not a big amount of DPS on the side of foot. So, he can at least get himself onto the safe. Drage with another good jump, but uh, Lanar's going to be really weak here. And Drage is super weak as well, so Yoshi's going to notice that and run it in. But now Bruce is just going to destroy the safe with nobody being able to help him. The stun goes down, but doesn't actually connect. Chaos misses his super as well, and this surely is going to be a foot win with so much damage going down with the need to bear. Lanar's going in as well. There's just a few shots needed. Lanar goes in to try and finish it off. 
and there's just six percent left wow i mean that is the thing about the shadow realm though you can take nita into the shadow realm but you can't take bruce as well and bruce just walks through willow doesn't have the dps to take down bruce in time a good timed shadow realm there from op is able to de defend it and if SKs guys can win this this will be an absolutely insane turn around and going to get chipped down as well chaos going to get more chip shots but yoshi needs to roll in here as soon as possible gets the kill onto some man actually no it doesn't in time a good stun as well and foot is surely going to walk away with this one because it's just not enough time semantic on defense and foot are able to take a two set lead overall this is absolutely huge for them they're just one set away from clinching worlds it's okay, so a jumping into set number three here we have the draft unfolding before our very eyes we have sk bang shelly uh bali and tick which on flare and phoenix i'm not too sure why i mean shelly's still pretty decent but again i haven't really seen the uh competitive meta too much but i, I don't know i just think shelly's pretty overrated except for in brubble where you can still get some good value out of a super break and open the goal but anyways squeak brook and bali band as well so bali's still really dominant in the knockout meta we see a gene first pick which typically you know, it's good against everything a lot of times. Whenever I play in Power League, though, I just feel like Gene just misses a, a lot of things. Like, it gets countered by so many different rulers. It doesn't have the pull factor as well as it used to have. I don't know. I'd rather just go, like, a Grey, for example, or just any other kind of semi-aggressive support ruler. Uh, even, like, Gus can even be considered. By the way, I'm not really seeing too much Gus at the moment. I think people have realised that drafting Gus, unless it's kind of also towards the later end of draft can leave yourself to get countered too much by those high hp brawlers but again i wouldn't be surprised actually no if i was thought i wouldn't really go gus into a mr p it would eat up a lot of ammo to be honest i wouldn't really know who to go you can go a bonnie here they go a call which is a great counter to the likes of mr p uh Oti can somewhat deal with a call especially with the split as well though and now going into the foot's last pick again i just i just wouldn't like to be in that situation they've got a mix of everything in the sk's composition rt and mr p mr p countering the kind of um the slow reloading brawlers like gene for example they might opt for like a gray maybe i know gray gets countered by mr p as well but it could be a good synergy with the gene and also for calm they actually opt for the daryl okay taking daryl away from ope might be the play right here that is definitely something that they wanted to go themselves to counter out the G the uh call sorry so now last pick for sk they've got to go with maybe some aggression themselves or a tank counter they can go one of two ways around this in terms of aggression there actually isn't too much that can counter out both of those carl and daryl on knockout like maybe they could go something wild like a primo but they go with a cordelius okay cordelius hmm, used to be able to be really good against both of those but i don't know i don't think he's as threatening anymore especially in knockout i kind of like foot's composition they double down on the aggression though so they really need to make this work this could be very dangerous for them going into this last one uh with arty as well like can pair really well with brothers like mr p or just any kind of chip damage ruler because of course any shot that you put out it will uh, get an additional thousand hp so that's why arty has a really good synergy with like crow for example even though crow has a really low dps just literally any poison tick would deal an extra thousand so now going into maybe the last game right here and foot could literally be clinching world finals with this win so semantic he's gonna just stay back because of course as a daryl you can't really influence the game early on because you gotta wait for your super lunar it's of course one of the best calls in the world his aggression is unmatched on this brawler he's gonna be able to maybe get him down there looks like Ope is going to try and get the kill onto Daryl, but Drage is doing a good job of just... Uh, oh, you can't really heal him in this Shadow Realm, actually, but it's just staying around him. So uh, if Ope gets the kill, then Drage can at least get the trade. And that's the thing about Cordelia, especially in Knockout. It's hard to get a Barilla into the Shadow Realm and actually secure the kill and stay alive. Because a lot of the time, well, you don't charge up your super again. Before the nerf you could literally just throw your super onto the next person and kind of just run away but you can't do that now so if you confirm the kill with cordelius you kind of just trapped outside of the shadow realm and normally uh his teammates are able to pick up the kill afterwards so semantic goes for the roll here and that's actually a beautiful jump from ope's uh yoshi's able to get a kill ope's really weak right here might be able to get a kill i don't think he's going to waste his super though it looks like foot have got it on lockdown i was a little bit worried there because <laughs> i was focused on the ope jump 
and it actually baited out a Daryl roll and a gene pool so that was really good value out of the gadget overall but i think it's just too much hp on the side of foot late game uh that it's actually really hard for him to do it especially daryl like daryl late game is absolutely insane so if i was sk i'll try my hardest to at least i don't know get some pressure before the gas closes in because a daryl with uh the shield I, I forgot what it's called now i don't know what's the shield stop power called completely steel hoops that's it uh, gives you that extra little bit of tankiness of course Carl with protector pirate as well it's just pretty hard to get all of these guys down especially with a chip ruler like mr peace so lana is kind of just waiting he's still got another gadget left so if chaos ever overextends any time chaos uh lana can just gadget onto him lana's actually going to go over the left hand side which could be a good sneaky play a lot of times people actually miss that change semantic's going to go into the shadow realm lana's going to go for a really aggressive play nearly gets the kill onto yoshi unfortunately for him it's going to be sk taking the round there's just no way that drage can actually uh clutch this he's only a chain but unfortunately chaos gets a lot of shots to his super and now it's going to be the round point right here so going down to the wire basically and knock out i don't know it's just unfortunate like lanan really nearly got a nice kill in the end but it's just hard when rt amplifies damage with a mark it can be hard to secure the kill on him because of course he can just deal even more damage back to you so uh, Chaos still has his super tan, which is going to be really annoying for the likes of Gina. Just everyone just having to waste ammo on it all the time. That's the thing, though, with his composition. Like, yeah, Mr. P is facing off against some of his biggest counters, but he's going to get a lot of supers as well. So at least he can get that benefit as well. Fill up foot. Kind of know they have to be on the aggressive a little bit earlier this time around. So Semantic's trying to sniff out, see if anyone's out of position. Same with Lenart as well. Feels like both teams are kind of happy for the gas to close in here for them to really try and make a play semantic's doing a lot of tanking that's what you got to do especially when you have a gene on your team a lot of times you can just sit in front of a gene tank because of course he's going to heal you up and that's an amazing pull from drake right there. that could be literally the decider yoshi's going to go down here now just chaos just alive and that's going to be foot taking the first round right here that was so beautifully played you love to see it normally gene pulls uh, just so hard to hit especially with mr p porters going around just so many things happening he was able to keep his cool hit the pull onto cordelius and then that allowed semantic to make another aggressive play to open up the door and that's what i'm talking about when it's in a final circle and foot get their way they're going to be able to secure round wins pretty easily so i've been wrong with two drafts so far but i said i liked the foot one hopefully they can prove me right this time around i can't go zero for three please foot please win this one uh for me so Again, we're just going to see... The thing about Knockout, it can be fun sometimes to play on ladder. I don't know. As a spectator, uh, do you guys enjoy watching Knockout? I mean, it's actually one of the most popular free for free modes at the moment. So people must enjoy playing it slash watching it. I feel like a lot of times it's not as exciting as a pro to watch it because I know what's going to happen a lot of times. But anyways, Lana's going to go in here. Smite's going to go in as well. That's actually going to be a round win essentially for for her. Yeah, wow. Well, as I was just waffling there, trying to get some filler <laughs> information, the, the foot just exploded. They've got so much confidence right here. They're definitely really enjoying themselves at the moment. But as I was saying, as a pro or just as someone who watches a lot of competitive, I know how the rounds are going to go a lot of the times. That's the thing that bores me about knockout sometimes is that, you know, of course, if literally one player goes down and it's 3v2, like 95% of the time, probably even higher, the team that are 3-2 up in lives are going to win the round. So that's why there's just not a lot of turnaround moments. But then again, that can make it exciting because for that 5%, if it happens, then you're like, wow, oh my God, that's absolutely insane. But again, most of the action just comes when the gas closes in it reminds me of bounty in a way like I, I guess because your life just matters so much that you kind of just want to try and stay alive play passive as much as possible like bounty the action happens at the end knockout action happens at the end i don't know i guess the game modes have got a bit of everything i don't know i just want i, don't know, I just want like knockout bounty to be removed at the moment that's just me in terms of the competitive pool but now drage has his pool he's looking to try and secure up pull onto any of these guys Ope has still got a gadget to hand but if he can actually oh it goes for the early pull there which i don't really mind too much he needed to try and make an aggressive play right here lanan semantic teaming up with the double aggression now just yoshi alive here hopefully dredge can secure the kill in time and he does manage to get that so wow for esports are basically gonna clean sweep up at the moment they're one round away from getting the full 
clean sweep and this is disastrous for sk it is just the worst scenario you could be in it's literally they're two zero up in the set to secure for worlds they have to do the biggest reverse sweep at the moment pressure is completely on sk and i'm just loving how foot are playing at the moment this is the foot that i like to see some aggressive plays teamwork making sure that they get the momentum and ope i don't know what he's doing there that is really dumb just going into a gene and a daryl again players can make mistakes but i feel like you don't need to make that play right why are you running into two people with your teammates not really helping you out I don't know really now. Now, Lana's just going to go over to Drage and Semantic. So, essentially, unless the biggest mistake ever happens, uh, Foot Esports are going to be able to take this round. And they'll literally be one round in knockout away from getting match point. Just absolutely insane right here. So, again, I guess the kind of aim of Foot here just to group up, try and keep each other alive, and not feed the Mr. P Super. But I guess that's kind of inevitable in this situation because you've got two tanky brawlers so i was actually going to use a gadget there just to try and secure them a win because it started to get a little bit sketchy a lot of chip damage coming from sk but foot are able to secure the round win and now we're just one round away from getting the world finals i can just feel the excitement if i was in this scenario i'll be bouncing literally be getting goosebumps at this moment like getting just securing world finals is a huge accomplishment as a pro player so many people try it and so many people fail so that's just why i just there's just so much urgency i guess around uh the room right here so even if the sk over gets go to lcq even if the team that loses they go to lcq so they've still got a chance to go in world finals but you'd rather just want that confirmed ticket to world finals right you don't want to stress of lcq there's a lot of good L lcq teams that people wouldn't have expected as well like chas mac like stmn there's some good eu teams like navi as well you know what i mean there's a bunch of good teams you don't want to go into that so SK, it's do or die for them at the moment. Again, the, the gas is just taking forever to come in. It's just not really too much commentary on the action because nothing's really just happening. It's just chip damage, poke damage, just shooting portals. Dre's going to go for the pool on the OPA, managing to confirm the kill. And now it's a 3 2 scenario. Yoshi's having to use his super really early here. And I just love the bait out from uh, Foot there. They didn't even have to go in aggressive. And that's going to be the world final spot securing for Foot. You just absolutely love to see it. And I can't wait to see the player cams right here congratulations to those guys securing world finals and of course <laughs> semantic is just screaming like crazy you love to see it you love to see it these guys work so hard with uh probably some of the worst starts that they've probably had to the season probably in, in, in all of their careers like foot they had a terrible start they had a really bad start to esl as well now they're securing themselves into the grand finals so i won't be casting that one i just wanted to cast this one because this was the most important one but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time